Hello friends, I hope you are well. Today we're going to be looking at a Stable Fusion tier list. Yes. But before that, we have a new assistant here today. And this is... This is Luna. And she is a mere... What are you now? She's a mere 12 weeks, something-ish. And she's going to be assisting me today. And, uh, you know, she ac accidentally swallowed a whole bag of Scrabble tiles. So uh, we, took, we took her to the vet and, uh, well... No word yet. So let's get on with that tier list. All right, guys and gals. So I have gathered some of my, well, not not just my, I've gathered some of the most popular user interfaces out there for Stable Fusion. I have a little list down here that I'm going to go through and I'm going to put them into my tier list up here from uh, S, which is uh, the top tier, based, whatever, down to uh, D, which is going to be the lowest today. We're not going to have an F. But uh, we're going to go down to uh, D, S, A, B, C, D. And we're just going to go straight into it with the Diffusion B, which is basically just easy install on Mac. That's it. Simple. If you want to easy install on Mac, try it out. If you're not on Mac, you know, just ignore it. So just for that, I'm going to put this into B tier. It's nothing special. If it was like PC, Mac, whatever, it's probably going to be in, in CD somewhere. But since it's uh, focused on Mac and it's simple, you know, Dream Studio, which is um, Stability AI's paid option. And I mean, it's not bad. It's okay. And it has some, some good features. And, and the fact that you get the latest models implemented instantly, that's nice. But it doesn't provide you anything that the free options does so for that reason i'm gonna put this into d tier dream studio d tier well one thing dream studio has got going uh along among with some of the others on the list which, which we're gonna get to is the fact that you don't need to install anything if it was a free option it would probably be around you know the a b tier it's, it's a good but nothing special uh but it's paid so down in d the next up we have is Invoke AI. Now, Invoke, I'm not going to put it in a tier yet, I'm just going to put it over here, is probably one of the best stable diffusion options you can use today. Uh, it's one of the newer ones, so it's not as um, well developed yet as like uh, Automatic 11.11 that has been in the game for a long time, but it's getting there. It's easy to install, it's, it's a beautiful user interface, and developers are working towards making it stable. They don't want all the features that Automatic 11.11 has, for example. They want some of the features, but they want to run it as stable as possible. And, and they want an easy user interface. And, you know, I like it. I love it. And their uh, in-painting option is uh, super cool. So for that reason, Invoke will be our first S tier. Boom. Yes. All right, let's move on. No, but seriously, I love Invoke, and um, try it if you haven't. You'll love it too. Next up is G Risk, and it was a it was a good contender at the start, and now it's just you know the public version is old and outdated. New version is hidden hidden behind the Patreon, and it doesn't you know really provide much compared to much else on this list. And uh, for that reason, we're gonna put G Risk into C tier. Next up. Most people's number one choice, Automatic 11.11, is the most feature-rich UI out there. There are a lot of extensions, there are a lot of features, there are a lot of settings. It's just a great, great system. The problem is it can be a little buggy, but you know, where, with where we're at at the moment, it's really to be expected. So with that, I'm going to put Automatic 11.11 up. You guessed it, S tier. It's one of the best out there. And it's actually the one I've been using the most over time. Now I've been swapping back and forth, but over time it's been my go-to UI. Now there, you know, there are contenders, invokes out there, there are others on the list, but yeah. Next up, we have Playground, which is uh, similar to Dream Studio, but it's uh, it's a standalone standalone company running it, and it's a web ba web based UI. You don't need to install anything, and uh, again, it's not bad. But 
and it really doesn't provide anything more than the free options does. Yes, it's a paid option. Now I don't want to bash on paid options. I love the paid options if they're providing something like ease of use. And yeah, they're providing some ease of use with the web app, but some free options does that as well. And for that reason, Playground is going down into the D tier. Next up is, well, it's... Some people can argue that this shouldn't be on this tier list because it's not really a user interface for stable diffusion. Now, Visions of Chaos is actually more of a library of uh, other tools, uh, machine learning tools and stuff like that. And you can run some of these UIs inside Visions of Chaos, like Automatic 11, for example. Now, this is extremely powerful with all the options that are in here, and that makes it also quite complicated. It's a great tool, but you're gonna need to be tech savvy to understand what's going on. But if you are, and if you want something super powerful, try it out. And I'm actually putting this as a third piece into the S tier. Next up on our list, NMKD. And I mean, it's a good UI, it's nothing special. It has some cool features like automatic scanner for, um, for your checkpoint models, for, you know, pickles and stuff. But, you know, with, with uh, community moving over to safe tensors that doesn't have, you know, pickles, it's, well, doesn't have a lot compared to the, the other UIs. But it's not bad. It's a good UI. So, you know, check it out if you like the style. No one's going to say anything about it. And um, it doesn't reach the big guys up in the S tier, but it's good enough to stay in the B tier. Next up, we have the forum, which is um, also a little bit of a joker on this list because it's not really a, a, a graphical user interface like some of the others. But I wanted to keep it in the list as well because of how powerful it is. Now, you can run it in Google Colab and, or, you can, or you can run it as extensions in other UIs like Automatic 11.11. And it's mainly an animation tool, but you can also run still images with it. So it's actually powerful on its own. And if you don't have a computer that's powerful enough, you know, you can run it through Google Colab. It's a great option. Similar to Visions of Chaos, it's a joker, it's not, you know, a standalone user interface. So that's the caveat here. But because of how great it is, it's in this list and it's up in the S tier. It's great. Next up, CMDR2. Now, CMDR2 has basically one thing. It's a one-click install. And, you know, that's, that's a great feature. If we made this list a couple months ago, it could probably be, you know, up in the S8 tier just because of that feature. But now, you know, when Invoke has a similarly easy installation process, it doesn't really stand out anymore because, you know, it's basically one of the main selling features. Because of that, we're going to put CMDR down into C tier. Next up, we have Stable Horde. Now, Stable Horde is unique in the sense that the GPU power is crowdsourced. So it's uh, mainly a web application that you can go to and you can run Stable Fusion and someone else is donating their GPU power to you. It's not as feature rich as some of the other options. Let's say it's, it's similar to you know, like Dream Studio and Playground of what you can do. Some has more features in some parts and some has more features in other parts. But because of Stable Horde has free GPU resources and is free all over. Stable Horde is a great option for a lot of people. And because of that, Stable Horde goes into the very lonely A tier. And now last up on today's list, we have uh, Sigil, or it used to be called HLKY. And this is actually one of the first user interfaces I tried when I started the Stable Fusion. And I, I liked it a lot. It had some features that I think were, at least user interface-wise, were superior to Automatic 11. Now, HLKY, the, the main guy, the main developer, he stopped working with this, and a guy named Zero Cool 
took over. They renamed it to Sigil and, you know, kept working on it. But kind of been stale now and uh, it's fallen behind. So if it used to be like SA tier, I'm sorry, I have to say it's probably somewhere between B and C now. I'm going to put it into B because still good. It had potential back in the day. And I think, you know, if they get back to it, it might move up again. It was good. It can be good. But for now, the others have surpassed. Okay, so these are all the stable diffusion user interfaces I put up today. Do you think I missed anyone? Which ones do you like? Do you agree with the list? Put your thoughts in the comments below and uh, let me know what you think. If you have a UI that I didn't put in this list, you know, let me know and tell me where you think it should be. Make me your perfect tier list. As always, have a good one. See ya.